I greet all of you with the universal greeting of Islam. Assalamu alaikum. May the peace and blessings of God Almighty be with you. The Allah, God Almighty tells us in the Quran that one of His signs is the diversity we see among ourselves as human beings. And I know that one of the greatest challenges that we face as human beings is to be able to live together in peace and in harmony, especially when we live very, very close to each other, as we do in, uh, in Toronto. And quite often we hear that Toronto and Canada in general is perhaps the most that we have also believe in the concept of, of creation. The concept that God Almighty created Adam and Eve and from the two of them of course He brought forth a multitude of men and women. O mankind indeed we created you from a pair of male and female. وَجَعَلْنَاكُمْ شُعُوبًا وَقَبَائِلًا And then we've made you into nations and tribes. So it is the plan of God Almighty that we come from different backgrounds and that we're not all alike and we're not all exactly the same. But the question is why? The Quran tells us, لِتَعَارَفُ So that you get to know each other or you get to learn from each other. You will leave here with perhaps a better understanding of Islam and some of the practices of Islam and, 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 and some of the beliefs of Muslims and that you will also leave realizing that most Muslims are regular people just like yourselves that we aspire to the same things that everybody wants a good life, an easy life, uh, a good life for ourselves and our children that we also would like to live in peace and in harmony so I hope that at least you can leave today with that one message that most of us are actually regular people, normal people we are really not much different than, than yourselves um, and I hope that you will have a good time when you visit the mosque today. Thank you very much for your, for your patience and your attentive listening. As 
Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. Amen. Dr. Atiyah, uh, visitors. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank Medjid Toronto for being part of Doors Open Toronto. Uh, I'm very proud this year of our emphasis on sacred places uh, because it is essential in a city like ours where people from every culture, every faith, every country, and literally every major city speaking every major language live together in harmony. It's essential that we see each other's sacred places and learn from each other. And it's very, very gracious of Imagine to open itself and accept our invitation. I just want to say thank you. Uh, the second thing I'd like to say is uh, I have known uh, Dr. Tia for a very long time. Uh, he used to worship in my neighborhood mosque, uh, walking distance from my house. So uh, Dr. Tia, thank you very much for your leadership for many years uh, on issues of relations between uh, different neighborhoods and different cultures. Two or three points, because I know people are here to see the mosque, not to hear their mayor. Um, but, and I, I certainly do not profess to be uh, an expert on Islam or religions, but I want just to speak to some experiences that I've had in this mosque and others, and why it is so important to me as mayor of Toronto that our Doors Open event is allowing us to share uh, and experience the places that people worship. And there are mosques, there are churches, there are temples, there are good gurdwaras, there are synagogues, uh, there is even a Zoroastrian temple, the only one in Toronto, open this weekend as part of Doors Open. It's an extraordinary, and it was almost graded, and the poorest people in our village sat in the back. Well, it's not true in a mosque, everyone is equal before God. And you can see that because people bow down together before God when they're praying. And it's a very important quality, uh, I think, that I see uh, in Islam and in the mosques in Toronto that really mirrors the values of Torontonians. We're all Torontonians, and we all deserve a chance in our society. Um, and I, I want to thank this mosque for allowing me to share worship on occasion and, and learn. And I have the great privilege as mayor. This morning I was at uh, uh, the Scarborough Chinese Baptist Church, which is a little bit of a different philosophy than a mosque. But it was fascinating. It was a, a choral celebration. There was a lot of singing. It's quite beautiful. But it was fascinating to hear the preacher speak because he spoke to timeless and eternal values like love thy neighbor as yourself, the golden rule. Every religion has the golden rule. It's the same. And as mayor, I see that because I have the privilege in being in houses of worship of, of every religion. And earlier this week, we had an interfaith breakfast. It's the second year. There were about 200 people there. At my table were representatives of the Anglican Church, the Catholic Church, uh, uh, a synagogue, uh, a Toronto imam, uh, a member of a... And the dialogue that happened at this breakfast was symbolic of what Toronto can be. And the poster of the interfaith dialogue is the golden rule expressed as it is in the holy books of all the different major faiths. And it's the same principle. And what I see in Toronto is we're able to reach across cultures and faiths and experiences and countries of origin even because underlying what happens in this city we all want to ensure that the people have a real opportunity in this city, that our young people have a real opportunity and real hope, no matter what neighborhood they happen to be growing up in. And that's the path that we're trying to set at City Hall. That's what I spoke about at the Interfaith Breakfast. And I'm extremely heartened by this weekend to see so many institutions welcoming their neighbors with great enthusiasm, as you heard from the Amen and from the welcoming remarks of God. Certainly, that's what this mosque is all about. It is a good neighbor. It even participates in the mayor's community cleanup, for example. But that's a sign of neighborliness. And I, I'd like to close by thanking again the Amen leadership of the mosque and all of the worshipers for welcoming Torontonians so heartily. I think it's extremely important. And I'd like to thank all the visitors uh, for their interest in ensuring that as Torontonians we understand each other's traditions. And that's what makes this city truly a great place to live. Thank you. That's what I'm going to Hi. Hi, Hi, Kamel.
Because I know, I know Farsi to here because my client son is a lawyer. Uh, uh, many refugee clients uh, from Iran, uh, so I mean, I'm used to hearing the translation. I got our stand up, but I'm used to hearing it, so I didn't know that. You need help, I can't help. What can we see the mirror? What's the best we can see the mirror with? I, I, I take your advice. When you're in my kind of position, you learn to listen to advice. Okay. <laughs> Everything. Yeah, I mean, yeah. 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 Uh, it's going the right way now. Uh, yes, we have to stand in each other. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, so.